um, spelled K-A-T-E-N-A-S-H. Perfect, thank you. And why should people in Northern Ireland refrain from voting along tribal lines of green and orange? Well, because it's not very sensible. What you end up with is what we've had for the last 10 years. Um, you end up with the same old, same old, and that's going to happen again. Um, as regards where I live, the location where I live in the northwest in Derry, um, this is a mainly um, Catholic area. And I feel that this government has practiced sectarianism. It's, it's to do with scaremongering, um, and unfortunately, but that scaremongering um, seems to work on people. Eamon McCann is a man who can cross borders, he can cross communities, um, he, he, people are people. Um, the working man is the working man and he's just, he, he, he just feeds everybody. He's a good, decent human being himself and, and that's the way he feeds. Everybody should be treated um, regardless of, of class or creed um, and, and, and who could possibly be against that. I've known Eamon McCann for 45 years, Eamon McCann, since Bloody Sunday where I had a brother who died. Eamon McCann has stood with us, those families, fighting for justice for the last 45 years. Um, and because of that, I would vote Eamon McCann. Eamon has never wavered in any of his, in, in, in the 50 years he's been on the streets campaigning for stuff, he has never wavered in his views. They have remained the same and constant. He's somebody you can trust. Sorry, but I remember then sort of going up and down on the bus because that's the sort of a, 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 from an early stage that's what I sort of life I had been leading you know uh, uh, I remember being at the uh, I remember the Dr. McKenna Cup final at Croke Park the first time I was ever at Croke Park and I went there reached the final and all that and then of course the up and down and the buses up and so many times and there used to be a bus back at 11 o'clock from Dublin every night uh, which you could go to the Abbey, for example, uh, or to some of the movie houses. But I uh, go to the Abbey and the Peacock, where you were literally two, three minutes from the bus station. It was perfectly possible to get a bus down to Dublin, in at the bus office, go get a burger, go to the Abbey Theatre, and be back again, and be back in Derry, sort of by two a.m. or whatever it was. But also, there was a long period there during the Troubles when sort of visiting acts and singers and bands and so on didn't come or rarely came to the north. So I can remember sort of going up and down to, to uh, even sort of quite late on, sort of going up and down to Queen, I remember that would have been in the mid 80s and so on. Somebody beside me is just giggled at me saying I was in Dublin to see Queen. But anyway. Here, here, here. 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 Here
Jag tror det är tydligt att det är en del. Jag ser det som att det är en del. Jag ser det som att det är en del. I mean, just looking at the figures, I mean, I'm realistic enough to know, and all of us and people before profit are realistic enough to know that, to put it mildly, it's very, very unlikely that we're going to hold the seat here. I, so, I mean, that's the reality of the situation. We've got to look to the future. You know, sort of, uh, uh, my voice won't be heard, it seems, sort of in the Assembly, sort of in the next session, but my voice will be heard loud and clear around Derry and around the North generally over the next period, because there's a lot of things to speak loudly about.